So I just got word that the like button was talking crazy about my mama. Of all people, my mama's a very lovely woman. I don't know why anybody would ever speak. My mama's one of the nicest people on this planet. So I'm not really understanding. So now I have real beef with the like button. So I'm gonna need y'all to do me a favor and help me um, continue to harass and beat the shit out the like button. So yeah, I appreciate y'all for, for coming through and doing it every single time. It's like, how many times do you have to teach somebody the same lesson? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? But anyway, yeah, before we get this video started, let's just, you know, go beat the shit out the like button. I appreciate y'all. Okay, so what is the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy Volandis back with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be shooting some Fuji Instax film on the Mamiya RZ67. So some of you are probably already very very familiar with this because George from Negative Feedback and Willem um, have already made videos using this Zen Stacks film back. I was supposed to make this video when I got to LA this month. Um, Willem was supposed to let me borrow his. Also, Willem, I, I appreciate you for going to let me borrow yours, but um, I have one. So we're just going to do the video here instead. But essentially just to kind of reiterate some of the things that they already said in their videos, this is a Fuji Instax film back for the Mamiya RZ67. So it gives you the opportunity to shoot um, this Fuji Instax film on your uh, Mamiya RZ67. A guy that goes by the name of Han, he pretty much uses Fuji Instax cameras and converts them um, so they can be used on the Mamiya RZ67. It's actually crazy what you can do with a 3D printer nowadays. This is a crazy invention, a very good, in my opinion, very useful invention because as photographers and as people in the world who like photography, everyone's, I feel like no matter where you are on the photography spectrum, you can always appreciate some good Instax photos and just like having fun with an Instax camera. Also, I think this is just a very, very, very good alternative to Fuji's FP100C film, because one, discontinued, they don't make it no more. And it's very expensive. It's like $80 a pack. Sometimes it's more, maybe $70, but anyways, very expensive for 10. Also, when you buy it, you don't know what you're getting yourself into because depending on when it expired and how it was stored, you could be getting some faulty film. But to me, this is pretty cool because this doesn't cost $80. It costs $15 and you can, you know, use it a lot more and have a lot more of it. So yeah, not too much to really talk about. Let's just get straight into it. Right now we're gonna take pictures of a mall. Um, she's filming right now, so she's going to put the camera down, but show them where we at. Spring is here, ladies and gentlemen, which means we got some beautiful spring colors on the way. So um, we're gonna take pictures of them all. Look at her, she too sauced up right now. So um, let's get some pictures of her real quick and then we're gonna um, be on our way. So I just took my first picture and I'll just show y'all what the auto winder does. I'm gonna go into another video about what this auto winder is about, but basically you just, and it just wind it to the next photo. But let's get this photo out of here and see what it's looking like. and we wait. So with this Instax film, it's not like your regular color negative film, which means you gotta be kind of precise with what you're taking pictures of, or it's going to be, it's not gonna look good at all. Like something's gonna either be blown out or something's gonna be real like dark and muddy. So right now we're shooting at like F16 cause it's really bright out here and like 250th of a second. I'm gonna take a picture of these leaves or trees, flowers. I feel like Willem on his video, he also took pictures of flowers on a tree. Swear to God, I'm not stealing your ideas, Willow. <laughs> mm. This one of you looks beautiful though. I can tell it's not all the way in yet, but looks beautiful. Let's take a few more of you. So we're gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna take a few more of them all. And then we're gonna head um, over to Banshee and take a few photos of him real quick. So let's do that. Banshee, you got anything to say? Y'all yeah, cheer as usual. <laughs> Look, I got, the, got that boy in the coat. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, let me get close up of like your tat on the side of your face. Let me know what type of no, just like how you, just like how you was. All right, ready? Uh, sure. Is my hair decent? Yeah, yeah, you look, yeah, you look beautiful, bro. I got you, I got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> My first tat seven. Really? When I was 13 years old. Wow. 13 getting tattoos. My mama would have smacked shit out of me. Bro, I had to beg my mom. Really? My mom is one of the strictest people I know. All right, one, two. How many pictures did I take? Do I even got more pictures? Willie in the background. That one's sweet. Oh, that's hard. This one out of, it's too dark, but. Oh, shit. The most I showed off on her? Then it's the first one, but. I'm gonna take a few That's more. Hard. It looks like, um, like back in the days. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that got hard. Ooh, that one. Ooh, that was fire. Yeah, the one with you really in my favorite. One, two. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. Shit, I'm gonna do 125 because I don't trust this shit. I'm gonna take two. All right, one, two. That was too perfect, but Sour's too far behind. You gotta be closer. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They play too much. <laughs> Wait till next year. I'm about to burn y'all up, bro. <laughs> oh, everybody. <laughs> Wait till next year, bro. I'm out here. I don't give a fuck what nobody talking about. You right. You right. Let me hop on this real quick. Nah, I gotta go to dinner. You know what? I ain't even gonna. I ain't even gonna do that to y'all today, bro. Hey, you know, I'm gonna holler at y'all tomorrow, though. Okay, and we are back at the crib. All in all, it's always fun to just go out and shoot some Polaroid and Instax photos because photography is a very serious thing for some people, including myself. So to go out and do something that's not so serious but have a professional aspect to it so you can shoot some instant polaroid photos but have a professional looking a professional look to your polaroid photos and take kind of you know professional photos especially on like the medium format so you can have a medium format look on instax photos which is crazy so another thing i wanted to talk about real quick in this video was the auto winder um i probably will or probably won't do another video on it because to me it's not that serious it's just you know help me with my camera situation i know people are probably like you just added another electronical component to a camera that already has an electronical issues and yes i did so i'm waiting for this to have problems and for me to complain about it later but essentially you just take a picture winds to the next photo this is very loud though it's just like very loud very heavy so there are some drawbacks to it including that it could break probably and you know be low on batteries all the stuff that you can probably think of yes i'm already aware but anyway for right now it fixes my problem and i can still use my rz67 so just had an idea somebody should invent something like this but instead of instax photos it develops color negative film so uh after you shoot a photo you can agitate your camera every 30 seconds and then and then when you're done you can just roll it up this part squeegee dries the film so when it comes out you have a nice dry negative that all you have to do is scan when you get home i want royalties though if anybody comes up with that i want royalties the back of that will probably be like this big it'll probably be like something you can even attach to your camera instax photos are fun they're great everybody loves them it's always like a fun thing so if you ask somebody to take their photo using the instax they're probably going to let you because it's always everybody always loves to see a photo be taken and then immediately that photo be seen in physical form. So um, I do wanna do a book, maybe not a book, but a zine on like Detroit life and life in Detroit or day or like everyday life in Detroit using Polaroids for the entire zine. So uh, maybe I might make that happen, but this will get, so maybe I might make that happen, but this is going to give me the chance to kind of play with that and like kind of explore that idea. So I'm excited to use it a lot more in my daily life. The link to Han's Instagram will be in my bio. If you guys want to purchase one as well, just give him a shout through his DM and yeah, hit him up.
anyway that's gonna do it for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys got something out of it if you are not subscribed to the channel please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you are already subscribed i'm not talking to you because you already did what you had to do but let's get about it here and let's go do some shit you know the vibes